now in the western region, that's in Kogwa, the capital of the West I mean, Fee municipality in the region has the influx of foreign nationals, particularly the Chinese. Now, my colleague Joseph Armstrong Gold Alogba reports on the good, the bad, and the ugly size of the Chinese entrepreneurial migrants in the gold mining town. It's 6 a.m. at Asankegua, a town noted for gold production where a growing number of Chinese keep relocating to prospects for the precious commodity. Most inscriptions on billboards along the streets are in Chinese. Foreigners, prospecting for gold isn't new in Ghana, but the new wave of Chinese companies appear to be exploiting the country's resources. More and more of them are becoming involved in the clandestine gold mining activities, skirting mining regulations in the country. In a bid to clamp down on illegal mining activities, popularly referred to as Galamse, some of them have been arrested and arraigned and deported. Molding and selling of confined use for illegal mining, spare parts for excavators, according to some residents, are some and other businesses the Chinese are engaged in. Some farmers say they have lost their farmlands to their mineral exploitation without any compensation. This hospital is only for Chinese nationals and they are not only into gold mining. Some move to the town to engage in other businesses. These are shops owned by Chinese from petty trading to restaurants and casinos. For how long have you been working here? Three months. Oh, you've been working just for three months? Yes. How is the pay like? It's not all that good because we don't have any work. We have to manage it like that. How much are you paid? 400. For how long have you been working for the Chinese here? Three years. Oh, you've been working for them for three years? Are they residents here? Yeah. What do you guys sell here? Pepper and their food. W what are those? These are little ones for Igris and Adoric. What, what do they use for? For Galamse people. How much are you paid? 3.5. A month. For, a month. For some inhabitants, their presence has improved the local economy. Yes, because they have employed some of our peoples to work for them. The Chinese has brought so much help to the youth. If not for them, many of the youth here would have been engaged in criminal activities. But for others, the cost of living has become very high particularly at this time of general price increases. The presence of these Chinese people has been such a way that a uh, rent issue has been an issue in this town. Now you can't even afford to rent a room because of the galamsey and other things in this town. So when you go to a landlord or a landlady that they want to rent a room, they just open the room for you and then any amount that they wish, they just mention it or say it out. The Chinese, what they are doing, it is what we can explain because they have an amount on them and the amount they have if they come to the landowner that we need this place when the landowner compare the money of the Chinese to yours and it is huge you pack your things away and even if you are having container they will cancel all some indigenous alleged some use fraudulent means to validate their residents and working without the required permits in violation of section 23 clause 1 and 35 clause 1d of the immigration act 2000 act 573 right now we are trying even to get our community mining and other stuff and definitely we might need uh, spare parts to buy for those uh, community miners so they selling those parts uh, i don't think uh, it's wrong because i know they have resident permits and other stuff because we have our migration who are vibrant here who always go to them and check them uh, so they're selling and i know they also pay their taxes but looking at their high population in the area it will not be surprising for a community to be named wasa china joseph armstrong good tv3 western region